I am very pleased that tonight we have the privilege of screening the documentary Winter on Fire with the filmmaker Afanevsky here at Villa Taverna tonight. I'm also very pleased to be joined by the ambassador of Ukraine to Italy. Winter on Fire actually made its official premiere here in Italy at the Venice Film Festival last September. To demonstrate our support for Ukrainian sovereignty, the United States Mission to Italy is proud to share this important film all across the country. It's an important time to be focusing on Ukraine. Last month marked the second anniversary of Russia's illegal occupation and attempted annexation of Crimea. The world cannot and should not accept the redrawing of borders by force in the 21st century. I think that this is an important event, uh, not only for the United States or for Europe, for Ukraine, but this is a kind of international event uh, because Maidan was not only about Ukraine. Maidan was about a new Europe and the decision of people of one country to be free and democratic. I guess all confessions, all churches together and the people together achieved this. And I think people can learn a lot by this unity. People can learn that people at the end of the day have a power in their hands to create their future, to fight for their future, to change their future. And not the governments are in, in charge of the people. People are in charge of the governments. Sanctions against Russia related to its occupation of Crimea will remain in place as long as the occupation continues. With our European partners, we again call on Russia to end that occupation and return Crimea to Ukraine. We continue to support the Ukrainian people who have shown us that they want for their country what we all want. Territorial integrity, good governance, respect for the rule of law, and justice. Ukraine's success is vital for a more democratic, peaceful, and stable Europe.